Hello and welcome back to another installment of Hobby Fist Geoguessing, our way to 20,000. Last time, last video, the first video of the year didn't go well. Too much gut thinking. But I'll have you know that I have now cut my gut off. I no longer am fat. I am now bleeding profusely, but hey, it will never again make me second guess myself. Like I'm going to a lot on this one because I don't know where the hell this is. Like if I saw like a giraffe or something out here, it would help me out immensely. However, I don't think that's going to happen. Ah, then this is you have Lenny South School Street. This does not help me in any way. We're like on the edge of a town where they put all their construction stuff. What the hell is this? Well, kilometers, so we're not in Engl England. We're not in the U.S. So this very well could be Australia. This very well could be South Africa. I don't know where Yablenny is. We're on a neighborhood watch, though. I didn't want... I hit... You saw me click back. Why did it go forward? So Yablenny. Yablenny does not sound... Helpful. This may be Australia. Then again, I'm... I need to see... More signs. Keller, uh... Trying to imagine... Would they say this in Australian act? Keller Bryn? As someone always said, if everyone in Australia, whenever they talk, they always just end there. Wow, we went to garbage. We're gonna get off this road and never go back on it again. Australians, when they talk, always seem to end on an upward inflection on all their words. I'm, like, I'm going to try again, because my Australian accent doesn't exist, but whenever they talk, they always seem to go like this, whenever they're ending their sentences. We are going to go the other way, and hopefully see if we can't find any more information. Any highway sign, road sign, I've got half my time is gone now. I need something. That sign say kangaroos jumping across the road. No, it's a floodway. Uh, I was going to say it never floods in Australia, but maybe that one time it does. But then again, does it flood in South Africa? Mm. Did I just blow by some helpful signs? I don't know. I'm desperate at this point. They really just... I'm just out here with... This is probably just a sign saying to uh, turn, isn't it? No, it's just caution of some sort. Maybe I should start thinking about whenever I see those type of signs. Because I remember seeing those a lot in South Africa. Uh, maybe also in Australia too. So fuck me, it doesn't help me at all. Stupid fucking brain. Needing more information. Never satisfied. Does this just say floodway again? Yep. Alright. Since it, that says English floodway, I don't know if, well, maybe actually South Africa also does the same thing with a fucking, uh, can't, I, I just can't pull the trigger yet. Except against my skull, because God damn it, I can't decide. I'm going to have to, Gnama holes. Now I feel like we're, now I feel like it's kind of opened up a bit. Just a bit, because this could end up really destroying me if this turns out to be Australia. Just because GNs doesn't feel like something you would see in Australian words all that much. Let's see how bad I am. <laughs> you know, it feels like GeoGuessr is, like, on to me in some way. And just being like... We know all the ones he has a hard time with. We're just gonna give him completely ambiguous... Fucking... God damn it. Like, I don't know if... Who, oh, great. Even more. Fucking... Kill me now. 
What am I what am I supposed to do with this? Except just complain more than I am now, because this tells me nothing. This is gonna probably tell me nothing as well. Except that we're in fucking Russia. This is like the if you want hard round, you don't have to go to that one specific uh um map that I did probably in episode three at this point. And be like the really hard ones. Just do this one. Cause I'm getting nothing. This is like I'll Okay, I'm gonna I'm just flustered myself into not being able to answer this own proposition I have. Anyway, it doesn't have to be like, okay, we're on the border of, we're not Antarctica. They only put that on there because, hey, no one's ever been to Antarctica. They're not going to know the answer to it. I was able to guess it just because, number one, the theme of the map is like, oh, they're going to go to impossible places. Hey, look, we're on an island full of penguins. Everyone's wearing those red research jackets that you only see people in Antarctica wear. That's where we are. You give them this. Or you give them a place where it's very well could be between two places. Like I thought South Africa and Australia was. Or you just give them five places in Russia because who the hell knows? Unless you, even if you live in the country, I've said this many times before. Even if you live in the country, you're not going to know everywhere in the entire country where you are. Like you live in Moscow, are you going to know everything about Choker, choker, cock, and whenever you see it, you're gonna like, oh, we're in choker, cock, or we're we're by the Bering Sea. No, you know it. It's I mean, hey, if you do, congratulations, you're a geo whiz or town whiz with your country. This is just, hey, we're building a dirt road in the middle of the Siberian waste. We can only do this three months out of the year because the rest of the time it's permafrost everywhere. We can't dig three inches into the ground because everything's frozen. This is probably real fun to drive whenever there's actually any mud on the road. And by looking at these type of rocks, I can tell that this is pulverized sedimentary stone. Therefore, these type of cargo bowl. Good name. Vladivostok Flyers, huh? Well, I know where Vladivostok is. I believe it's over here. However, I got a minute left. Yep, Vladivostok's right there. So you're either coming to or from there. And since my score is garbage, I'm going to take a stab at having any chance of coming back to this. I'm going to throw all my way into east, east, east. Although, that guy had some flair. We're on paved road now? That guy had some flair on his... Yes, this. This guy really does take care of his truck. He, he, he... Well, you spend enough time in there, you're gonna... You're gonna... Hey, we got a sign. Here we go. Here we go. Anything in English. Nope. They're just saying, hey, we're building this thing. Ten seconds left. I'm not gonna get any better than this. Wow. The gamble paid off. Who knew that knowing where Vladivostok was was going to help me? But that's what you got to do when, you, when you're uh, down like this. You got to be able to make those gutsy calls. I'm still going to give this one star because combined score, I still... Still bad. Porto... Cuba Tau. So I feel like we're in Brazil. I.E. Russia Junior. Can I see this sign? Oh, that says Aqui. Isn't Aqui Spanish for here? Isn't Cuba Tau something I saw in like Ch Chile or Chile? Excuse me. I mean, it may sound like I'm being very shitty. It's not intentional. I'm just kind of moping still how bad I am. I'm going to go back. Maybe we can get 
No, that's just that was just a blip in the road. We can't we can't see the rest of that town, so we're just gonna head this way. And the more I see this, the more I don't know if I'm sold that. No, I don't know. International area codage. This doesn't feel like tropical. And then again, I'm not outside. Maybe they, well, you can also think maybe it's tropical because they're not using trees here because they would rot. But then again, there's trees right behind that, so I'm going to shut up. My logic is dumb. This dude is. Yo, you're fucking, that's some dedication, bro. Don't let everybody tell you down otherwise. Like, is this thing mean? That it's, um, uh, Portuguese and not Spanish? I, I don't know. This, uh, we're, we're near a canal. And they have apparently dengue here. Well, we're on a ferry. Across what I can only imagine is my ignorance being the Amazon River. And I need to find it now. Who knew finding the goddamn Amazon River was going to be this hard? Here it is. Exactly where we are. Porto de Cow Cow, whatever that was called. Well, they're past that. I'm going to click here. And I'm going to be 100% wrong. But it doesn't matter. None of this matters. Um, Someone write, you, you're, you're in Brazil. All right, well, we're not going to get anything else on this side of the road, so we got to go back this way and see if we can't see anything in the next minute. So it's just frantically click time. Take the two-tenths of a second. There's actually a focus camera to see if there's any signs that are going to come up, and I miss them. I don't think I have yet. I feel like that. that's a wide enough body of water that it could be the Amazon. I mean, I got nothing else to base it off of. I feel like that was Portuguese. Like, ooh, ooh, here we go. We had some more sign. It's 30, we got 30 seconds. Come on, where are you? Do you hear me? Frantically. Obama's extravagant reserve of man drakes. Okay. That narrows it down precisely. These like, oh, they, well, we're just going to build the road and then we'll worry about nothing existing there later. They're just planning for the future, which is smart. They did this part of the road over here. We're going to go, well, I guess we can't go that way. All right, fine. Fuck you. Well, uh, of course, why not? Why not? I mean, why not? You can only guess so many times before it actually bites you in the ass, and I was one for two before it did. One star. I'm mad. This is a terrible score. This is just really, really bad. And now I feel like we're in Europe. Please, no Cyrillic. Please, no Cyrillic. Alright, that's not Cyrillic. That's probably Finnish. We're on... Yorha, Lord of Mankind, all that fun stuff. Let's put us there. Why not? So, while I mope some more about how bad I did this round, I might as well talk a little bit more about, or a little bit more, or anything in general about yeah, the previous year and how it went. Maybe just, maybe the channel in mind. This is getting a lot of information here, but I don't know how much of it I can suss out in any way. Uh, rehab Center. Dun, 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 dun. It was perfect timing for Symphony Number no. 5 and C minor to actually come out. Good song. But the uh, past year or so, channel-wise, you know, actually starting this in March, kind of teased this, actually doing that on-this-day thing they have in uh, Facebook. 
just teased the thing there one year ago today, and it took us three months afterwards to actually get off our, get off our ass and do it. But we actually had this channel, I believe, like we we saved the name or whatever you do on uh, YouTube at like the end of last year. So we're kind of like some anniversary of it. We actually didn't post new videos until March, though. But, um, yeah, we did quite a bit so far. Well, compared to nothing before, we're still Vespas, Mopeds, and Cycles. Now I feel like this is Russia, because, but it's not, it's not, it's not, shut up, it's not, shut up, shut up, it's not. But from our first little videos of Uncharted, and us yelling... A really terrible mic, not setting up any, like, gates. I mean, granted, this isn't the greatest either, but... Being paranoid of having any outside noise in any of the games that we're playing. Like, Evo leaving in the middle of games because he had to go get ice cream and it just left me to play a game I've never played before. That happened plenty of times. People walking in and out of the room when we were trying to record stuff. With blatant disregard for... Anything we're doing. But. Ooh. Bagatelle and A minor. We're hitting some bangers in a row here. But, um. Yeah, I played quite a few games. What did we do? We did, uh, Uncharted. Um, Bioshock Infinite. I did that one. And then Hitman. Hitman was fun as hell. If you haven't played that game, go play that game. Jesus Christ, it's fun. And we tried playing a little bit of Wolfenstein, and then it just, we've, we kind of like stalled out on that. I don't think I'm going to get any info more. I'm going to put us closer to McKelly just because I like the word McKelly. We might come back to Uncharted, or Uncharted. Um, Wolfenstein, I don't know. I mean, I just hear crazy fucking things about that game and story stuff in it. Vasa. Or Vasa. Are we going to see it? No, we're not. Oh, the other side of the country. Eh, it doesn't matter. Oh, well, there's Vasa. Okay, great. Three stars because you weren't Russia. Final score. I am going to be in uh, real bad contention of actually getting a worse score than last time. And that's... Oh, we're in Scandinavia again. The 899. How far out am I going to see... Road signs like this. Well, we get into blues here. What about another part, another country? Let's zoom in. See if we can't see white block. Okay, we got blue there. Nope. Well, let's go to. This is just real preliminary to see. Okay, so I believe we're in Norway. Um, see if we can't get an eight ninety nine sixty three. So maybe farther north you go, it you get higher numbers. I mean, I don't know. I don't know anything about this part of the world. I'm going to just put us up here. Let's see if I can't see an 899 anywhere. No, there's one road through this entire part of the world. All right, fine, fine. Stotkamo. Maybe this is in Norway. Maybe this is actually Sweden. Uh, let's zoom out to normal, normal view. All right, let's let's. Um, why do I feel like this is Sweden? I mean, I have I have no way of not proving of. I feel like I've seen that word before. Eight twenty-two. Got to remember that number. Why doesn't... No, this... this is... Half-spoken words. I'm frustrated at myself. I can speak words, goddammit. Um, I'm gonna stick with the Norway. Put us there for now, I guess. If I can't see a... 822 anywhere. And we're going over a bit of water here. 
Okay, great. We'll just... Maybe I'll see a flag somewhere as I go down this highway, but I doubt it. But we might come back to Wolfenstein maybe soon, maybe not, I don't know. It's just kind of like, you start playing it, and then you stop, and then you're kind of like, eh. Maybe I'll get back to it. Maybe I won't. Because there's there's a bit of an issue with that game. I feel like there's a bit of dissonance between actually what like you expect from the game and what it actually uh, makes you want it makes what it wants you to do. And what I mean by that is like you play other Wolfenstein games. Well, at least the most basic, like when it first came out, it's just like a Doom type game. You just run around, shoot things. And in this one, you're a big giant meathead and he's still called BJ Blaskowitz and you can dual wield giant fucking guns, run around and shoot people. But whenever you get into combat areas, what do they want you to do? Sneak around and shoot the guys who uh, alert the other, like alert to actually have more people come here. If this turns out to be Findlin, I'm going to be so mad. And so you have to sneak and... It it just feels like no, I don't I don't want to sneak. Well, okay, I've got twenty seconds to suss this out. Seventy six. Let's see, is there a yellow? And I'm like, but it's like no, I'm a big giant meathead. I want to run around and shoot things. You gave me these big giant guns. It feels like I should. Uh, I'm, this is gonna be a bad score. Yep, whatever. Fine. I'm so upset. But just to finish the thought up on the Wolfenstein, it's like, if you want me to sneak, don't make me have these big giant fucking guns. And then make it so when I get hit, it's just not lightly darkening the screen. Like, have a little bit more effect because you have super low health in that game to start off with. And you die way before you even ex think you're supposed to. And it just feels like, if you want me to sneak around, don't make me have big giant guns I can dual wield and run around. Granted, you can do that on easier difficulties. But that's not the point. And wow, we're just regressing because of this. Because of this. Our best Russia guest ever. Anyway, uh, maybe if I stop saying 20,000, we'll get 20,000. So I won't mention it at all next time around because I don't want to jinx ourselves. Or maybe we'll just get four points because we're going to guess the wrong parts of the world the entire time. But there's only, way, only one way to find out, and that's to come back on Friday to see if I can do it. But in the meantime, thank you all for watching. If you could please like, favorite, comment, subscribe. It means quite a bit to Evo and I. But for him, this is Greg. We are Hobby Fist again. Friday, come back and see if we can't get under 10,000 points.